Hey everyone, uh, I'm Davey Baker, I'm an illustrator and concept artist in the entertainment industry. You've just watched the intro um, to this sci-fi demo. Um, those are some of the paper textures that are included in this pack. And now I'm going to show you how I use them to bring my characters to life. So first of all, I'll open this um, group and I'll show you the layers that I've um, used to create this background. I've split these into three layers. The the first layer used the, the fill but then we've got um, a little bit of underpainting on there as well. Um, and then this next layer is the highlights of the texture and this one is the negative space. If I open up the papers menu you can see the uh, the texture in the top corner there. I'm using uh, one of the chalk brushes here and when you select the chalk brush you get the option of selecting the paper texture that you want to use. Um, it's just down there and you can also select it from the papers menu. So this area here you can select to invert the texture and that's where we we are getting the, the two different um, aspects. So when I've used the, the chalk brush I've used um, one layer for the negative space and then the other layer to create the highlights and we have the, the background as well that you can still see through both of those layers. If I open another one of these up I can show you that again it's on three layers and um, we've got the, the highlights and the shadows, the positive and the negative space on separate layers. This just really helps for editing later on if you want to change anything. Now I'm going to select this um, wire paper and we'll, um, we'll just go through how I've um, created all the other ones. So we've got the, uh, the background layer. Now you can change the colour um, and then just go straight over the top. See we have that green there so um, I'm going to make that a bit darker. There's a little bit of it left because we've got the pressure sensitivity. And now I'm going to invert it and we'll put some highlights onto, uh, onto these wires. I'm using a lighter kind of orange colour here just to just to make it pop. And once you've applied um, a layer you can obviously lock what you've um, painted and then you can use other brushes to change the colours or enhance the um, the, the variation so I'm, I'm going to use the glow brush here and that just adds um, a little more variation. Now 
now let's um, let's try another. And you can sort of mix and match these and create your own. So I'm choosing uh, another darker colour. Just going straight over the top. And now I'll choose a lighter colour and invert the uh, selection. And we're really starting to build all of these uh, patterns um, and create something that's unique. You can change the angle, so you can just use the slider on the on the top. Go over this again with a um, slightly different colour. Let's go for a red. I'm using the uh, the same texture as the the one that we've just used, but we've changed the angle. So of course now we're we're getting this um, overlapping of the of the pattern that we've just used, but it's giving us more variation. And then we can invert it again on another layer, select a different colour, and just add some more information just to mix up the, uh, the whole pattern that we've got going on here. Now I'd like to show you one of the, the textures that um, I prepared earlier. Um, and I'll show you how to transform this. Um, it basically looks like um, a wall panel or a floor panel, something like that. So we can use the uh, free transform and we can get the perspective um, that we want. I'll just crop the um, the image so so we don't get all the um, all the information that's off screen, and then we'll be able to transform this uh, much easier. So now the selection is around the edge, and then we can just pull that back. And now we have some sort of floor panel grating for a, a character to stand on or something like that. Super easy to do um, and then we can just drop our character on the top. Now the, the texture should work with any brush that has a, a, a grainy kind of feel to it so I've used the, um, the real fat chalk um, but you can use pretty much anything that has some kind of um, grainy uh, aspect to it. Okay, so anyone who enjoys drawing characters but struggles to draw backgrounds, this uh, texture paper pack is perfect for you. I uh, really hope you enjoy the papers. And uh, thanks for watching.